Hi friends, it's Miss Anne again. I hope you guys are having a good day. Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? Did you spend time with your family and eat lots of yummy food? I did. I had a great Thanksgiving and I ate pumpkin pie, my favorite, and turkey and mashed potatoes. And now I'm getting ready for another holiday at my house. There's another holiday that's coming up that I'm getting ready for. Do you know what it is? Can you guess? I'm getting ready for Christmas today at my house. We are decorating our Christmas tree and we're putting up decorations all around our house and lights on our house. And if you see right here behind me, what is that that has to do with Christmas? Do you know? What are those? That's right, they're Christmas trees. We're going to play a little game with the Christmas trees. Can you see what the Christmas trees have printed on them? They have numbers on them. Can you count the Christmas trees with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve Christmas trees. And guess what? There's something hiding behind two of these Christmas trees. Santa and one of his reindeer are hiding behind two of these trees. Can you guys help me find them? So what I want you to do to help me is shout out a number so I can look behind the tree and see if Santa or his reindeer are there. Okay, are you ready? All right, shout out a number. What number are they hiding behind? Can you tell me? Number one, okay, we can check number one. Here's number one. Oh, no Santa, no reindeer. Can we try again? Can you shout out a number? Number 11? Oh, where's number 11? Is this number 11? No, that's number nine, okay. Oh, here's number 11, one, one, 11. Let's see, is he hiding, is he hiding behind there? No. He's not. Can you try again? Shout out another number. Number three? Okay. This is not three. That's number two. This is number three. Here it is. No, he's not there. You want to check behind number five? Five. Okay. Is this five? No, we said that's two. Oh, five is right here, right under the two. Five. Let's see. Ah, no deer and no Santa. Where should we check now? You want to shout out a number. Number four? I hear four. Okay, let's try number four. Here's number four. Let's see. <gasps> Look what we found. Can you see that? It's a reindeer. And look, this reindeer has a red nose, so that must be Rudolph. We found Rudolph. Good job, friends. But now we have to find Santa, right? Okay, where is Santa hiding? Can you shout out a number? Let's see what's next. I mean, what's left. Let's see what numbers are left here. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or twelve. Shout out, where do you think they are? <gasps> number twelve? You think it's way down here? Here's number 12, one and the two is 12. No, not there. Shout out another number. Number two? Oh yeah, we still have two up here, let's see. Oh no, Santa. Santa, where are you? Okay, let's try again. What number do you think Santa is hiding behind? Shout it out. Number 10? Okay, is this number 10? No, that's number nine. So this is number 10, a one and a zero, 10. Okay, let's see, Santa? No, Santa? Santa, where are you? Okay, shout out to me, where do you think he is? You think he's behind number seven? Okay, is this number seven? No, that's number six. So after six is seven. Let's see if he's here. <gasps> We found Santa! There he is! Good job, friends! There he is! His red hat and his white beard. And I can
could just hear him saying, oh, oh, oh. Good job. So we found Santa and his reindeer. Good job, friends. Now, would you like to hear a story about Santa? I'm going to read you guys a story about Santa. This story is called Santa's Favorite Story. One day in December, a fox was walking in the forest. As he looked at the snowy trees, he remembered that it would soon be Christmas. Then he heard something. He sniffed the air and looked around. Hmm, I wonder what he sees. There, fast asleep, against a tree was Santa Claus. He was snoring. Oh my goodness, thought the fox. Santa Claus has come early this year. I better go and tell everyone he's here. So he hurried off to tell all the other animals that lived in the forest. Santa's early and the fox wants to let everyone know. Wow, look at all the different animals that came to see Santa. When they heard the news, the animals hopped and ran and scampered and flew to the tree. A squirrel chattered excitedly, and Santa Claus slowly stretched, yawned, and then opened his eyes to see the faces of dozens of little creatures. Why are you here? they asked him. Is Christmas going to be early this year? asked the fox. I'm sorry if I've worried you, my friend, said Santa. I went for a long hike this morning to get in shape for Christmas Eve, but I guess I walked until I got too tired. Maybe all those heavy presents will be too much for me to deliver this year. The animals all looked alarmed. Does this mean there won't be a Christmas anymore? asked the fox. No, 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 said Santa in a kindly voice. Christmas has got, hasn't got anything to do with me. Sit down and I'll tell you all the story of the first Christmas. It happened a long, long ago in a far away, far away place called Bethlehem. Some shepherds were watching over the sheep in the fields outside the town. It was very quiet and still. Suddenly, a beautiful bright star appeared in the sky. The shepherds heard a voice saying, Do not be afraid. I have good news for you all. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, the Christ child has been born. God has sent his son to show what God's love is like. Follow the star to the stable. Do you guys see the big bright star in the sky? The shepherds followed the star over hills and through valleys, across bridges, and past little villages. All the while, the star shone brighter and brighter until at last it stopped above a small stable. The shepherds and their sheep stopped too, for there in the stable was a baby lying in a manger. The shepherds knew that this was the Son of God, and they knelt down and prayed. And this is what happened in Bethlehem when the, child, when the Christ child came. It's my favorite story because it reminds me why we are so happy at this time of year. Love was the gift God gave to us on the first Christmas. And it still is, you know. And this love is far better than any presents that I can deliver. Santa Claus put his hands in his pockets and looked slowly around the circle of animals with a kind and happy smile upon his face. How silly we have been, said the fox, to think that Christmas was only about the presents. So now you know, said Santa, but come on, you're right, that it's almost Christmas. Let's go back to my place and get things ready. All the animals followed, as Santa Claus ran off towards his house, 
He didn't even look tired anymore because he had remembered how much fun his work was going to be. The animals stayed at Santa's house until Christmas Day and helped him every way they could. Of course, the reindeer helped by going out with him to deliver the presents the night before. After a fine Christmas dinner, Santa gave every animal a present. And as they sat around the fireplace later in the day, they all asked to hear Santa's favorite story again. It was a very special Christmas day for everyone. Santa was sure that he had the nicest time of all, though, because he remembered that the best present ever is Christmas itself. The end. I hope you like Santa's favorite story. I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye.